welcome back to our channel so today's video is all about this kind of summer daytime glam look here i'm not sure what i'm going to call it but it is very glam very very glam i went all out today and i also incorporated a wing liner so you guys know i don't typically do wing liners but today i was just feeling a little bit risky so i did go ahead and do a wing liner and i finally got my hands on the tarlet and bloom palette yes i am very very late but the sephora by my house is always sold out so i finally got my hands on the palette and you guys i love it i have been eyeing it for so long but i love the palette because it is a very everyday wearable palette it has like all your just natural eyeshadow shades so i love it i played around with it today and i came up with this kind of like smoky daytime glam eye and of course a nude lip because y'all know this by now um but yeah so i did go ahead and go full out glam but overall the look is very easy to follow and it's actually not that complicated so if you guys are interested in seeing how i achieve this look here then please stay tuned so if you guys do enjoy please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and until next time i will see you guys later bye guys like I mentioned earlier, I'm only using eyeshadows from the Tarlet and Bloom palette. So I'm starting off by applying the shade Smarty Pants to my crease area. It's a very soft orange shade, so it's great as a transitioning eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking the shade Sweetheart and applying it directly onto my crease area as well. And this is more of a pale pink color, so it really helps to kind of soften out the crease a little bit. And it also kind of goes with more of the pink vibe that I was going with for the eyes. Next on the eyes is the shade Rebel, and I'm applying this eyeshadow on the outer crease since it is more of a darker pink color. Um, this will add definition to the crease without being too harsh. Now I'm taking a small synthetic brush and applying a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and applying it directly onto my lid and this will help my next eyeshadow pop a little bit more and it will also help it stay as well. So I'm just applying that to both my lids and then I'll move on to the lid color. Before I added the lid color, I did want to go ahead and deepen up my V a little bit more. So I did add the eyeshadow shade leader from the Charlotte and Bloom palette to my outer V color. And this is more so on the outer V of my lid and not really on my crease. Um, so this kind of helps to deepen it up a little bit so that it adds more of a smokier effect. <laughs> the lid I'm using the shade firecracker and you guys this shade looks like it's more of a bronzy color in the palette but when you apply it it kind of comes off more of a champagne shade and the payoff you guys for this shade is phenomenal it it just applies so well especially if you apply a little bit of fix plus it pops so well so I loved it as a lid color <laughs> Now onto the wing liner using my favorite NYC liquid liner. Because I'm still in the process of mastering a fierce wing, I apply a strip of tape and use it as a guide for my liquid liner. And this is definitely a major key if you are struggling like me because I need a guide. <laughs> so if you guys want me to do a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you guys how I do a wing liner using this trick, let me know down below. Since we are just about done with the eyes, I'm going ahead and applying some of the Miss Mega Mascara and then I'll let that dry for a few minutes. Now it is on to the face, so first I'm applying my favorite primer at the moment, which is the Becca Evermatte Primer. 
love, love, love this stuff. This stuff, you guys, is like my holy grail for the summertime because my pores and my oiliness is just on a whole different level. <laughs> so I have to use this faithfully throughout the summer. Next, I'll be doing some color correcting using the LA Girl Orange Corrector, and I'll be applying that to any areas on my face where it's just a little bit darker. For my foundation, I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Mahogany, and I'm just applying that all throughout my face and buffing that all in using a beauty blender. highlight I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer and of course I always forget what shade that I use in this concealer <laughs> so I will leave that down below um, but yeah I'm just applying this to all the areas that I typically highlight. To set my highlight, I use this Sasha Buttercup powder and then I let that sit for about a couple of minutes. I did go ahead and apply my lashes off camera and I used the Vegas Snay Allure Shiny Star Lashes. And now I'm just applying some bronzer, so I'm applying the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Bronze Glow, Golden Glow, one of those two. Um, so I'm just applying that all over the halls of my cheeks and my forehead and chin area. To deepen my contour, I use the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in the shade Ebony and I put that directly on the calls of my cheeks and a little bit, just a little bit of my forehead and chin area as well. To finish off the eyes, I'm just applying the LA Glide Gel Liner in the color black to my bottom waterline. And please excuse that ugly face that I'm making, y'all. It's like a natural habit for me to open my mouth up whenever I'm doing like the bottom waterline or the bottom lashes area. So just ignore that, okay? <laughs> um, so now I'm just applying the shade leader to the bottom waterline as well to kind of smudge out the black a little bit. And of course, we can't forget the mascara, so I'm applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to the bottom lashes as well. For a little glow, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit, and I'm using the shade Bubbly. For blush, I'm using a NYX blush in the shade Mocha, and I'll apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Since I'm going for a nude lip, I'm using a brown lip liner, and here I'm using the Jordana lip liner in the color Coco Loco. For my first lipstick, I'm using the Giordana lipstick in the shade Matte Frappuccino. I also decided to pair the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick with this look to give it more of a pink nude color.
Last but not least, spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and you are good to go.